Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So um, I had this old thick chunky fence post which was quite bent in the middle and uh, I decided to make a chunky door stop with it. As you can see there it's like nearly 4 inches by 4 inches so it should be nice and chunky and heavy perfect for a door stop. So the first thing to do was to get it on the bench and mark up where I was going to make some cuts. And in the end I went for about 10 inches in length and I just turned the um, speed square around and marked it both ways just in case the wood was uh, a little out just to make sure the line was quite straight. So then I clamped it up in the bench ready for sawing. So I started off with just a standard hand saw. And I used the uh, speed square just as a guide. But in the end, uh, I, th I found that to be a bit too slow, so I got out the uh, the compound miter saw and just finished it off with that. So that's what I had—a nice, chunky piece of wood with some nice uh, straight cuts. So the next thing to do was to give it a good sanding down. It was quite rough. And I started off with um, a 60 grit sandpaper, quite coarse. And I just took my time and gave it all a good sanding and um, I sanded over the edges as well just to prevent any splitting of the wood. After that was done, I went up to uh, I think 120 grit just to finish it all off. And I wanted it, I just wanted it to be fairly smooth, not really smooth because I just wanted to uh, keep that rustic look. And then I just finished it off by hand. Okay, so I bought um, a, it's called a ring on plate, and you can get these at any hardware store or online. And this was just to um, pick up the doorstop. And I also bought these um, case corners, which I thought would look nice on the bottom. Not essential, but just for the look. So first of all, before I added those, I gave the whole thing a nice coat of boiled linseed oil. And I think that made the grain pop out quite nicely. And each side was quite unique. As you can see, that side's quite unusual there.
and then I just gave it all a, a wiping down to just remove any excess oil So now it was time to add those corner pieces to the bottom. As I say, they, they have two functions. They, they protect the corners from chips and they just uh, also look nice, I think, as well. So I just used some standard self-tapping screws to attach those. And I'd say if you was going to copy this method, um, this is for like a carpeted floor. So if you want to use it for a floor such as like laminate flooring you would probably want to put some rubber feet on there just because of those bottom screws uh, they might scratch your floor and then I just gave them all a hand tightening And then I added the ring to the top. Um, I just used a tape measure, went round to make sure it was roughly in the middle. And then marked up with a pencil where I needed to drill the uh, pilot holes for the screws. and then I screwed it on. So if you do have a piece of oak lying around, um, I'd recommend using that because oak is heavier and the heavier the better. Um, I think this is pine, but this is heavy enough because it's quite chunky. And it was also great to make use of some old wood. So there it is all finished. I was quite pleased with how it came out. It looked quite nice, I think. Um, I would have liked some brass rings and um, those corner protectors but this is all I could find so uh, if you found this video useful please make sure to like and also leave me a comment and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing for more videos so as always thank you for watching and I'll see you next time